on the eve of college football 2012. Mark Rogers TV with more previews. Moving on to the nation's fourth best conference, the Pac-12. Or we could call it the Big Three and the Insignificant Nine. We're not even going to touch the Insignificant Nine. Nobody's even sniffing the top 25. But the top three are extremely legit in USC, Oregon, and Stanford. And a moment of silence in Palo Alto with the loss of Andrew Luck onto the NFL. 23 wins and two BCS Bowl appearances in the past two years and the top quarterbacking prospect over the past 20 years in college football. Luck is replaced by junior Josh Noons, who was just named the starter this week after winning a three-way quarterback battle. So the decision was very close. Noons has no experience practically. And so Brett Nottingham, expect to see him down the line this thing may not be over at signal caller in Palo Alto. We do know that the offensive line is very good and experienced, and running back Stephon Taylor is there to pick up the pieces if the passing game falters. Ran for 13, 30, and 10 touchdowns, but again, the passing game could be in question. No game breakers on the outside, and the tight end also lost to the NFL as well. The thing that got lost in the Andrew Luck era was that the defense was much improved over what had been there at Stanford in past years, especially the front seven, maybe one of the best in college football with Shane Scove coming back from injury. He was lost after game three against Arizona and also Chase Thomas, who racked up eight and a half sacks. Stanford's going to be very solid on defense. Of course, the passing game is going to have to emerge, but the running game is in place. Stanford goes 9-3, 7-2 in conference play. Oregon wins the North again. The Ducks are loaded as well. Marcus Mariota is the starting quarterback. He's just a redshirt freshman. He was the 12th rated quarterback coming out of high school. He gets the nod with Darren Thomas moving on to the NFL. Mariota is going to need some help in the passing game. But like Noons at Stanford, not a lot of help on the outside with the three top wide receivers having moved on. So he's going to have to have some playmakers emerge on the outside. Of course, the recruiting base has been excellent. So expect speed and athleticism on the outside. And certainly in the backfield with Kenyon Barner, 16 touchdowns last season. And also DeAnthony Thomas. He had 16 touchdowns as well. These guys get out in space running from the backfield or catching passes out of the backfield. They make it all go while the passing game's going to develop. Like Stanford again, the real story's on defense. This defense will field its best unit in school history this season. Oregon has improved things very much on defense in recent years, but expect 2012 to be a breakout for the Ducks on defense. Two losses for Oregon this season, so we do have them winning the North and moving on to the championship game against USC. And for some real in-depth insight into the Trojans this season, look at our USC video going back about 10 days to really lay out the offense, the defense, the special teams. Our concerns here are depth. Best quarterback in the country, Matt Barkley. Best wide receiver tandem. And 2,000-yard rushers. The offensive line's in place. The defense is amazing on the first tier. But the depth has been hurt by scholarship reductions and recruiting that wasn't at the top of the game two and three and four years ago. But again, the defense led by Deion Bailey at linebacker and the linebacking core as a whole is amazing. This team is loaded, but will lose one game. Trojans go 12-1. and one. Do they make it to the championship game? Well, they get to the conference championship game. They win it over Oregon, so we've got the matchup we should have had last year. Trojans over the Ducks in a high-scoring, very entertaining affair. USC to the national championship game? We'll answer that question very soon. Would love to hear what you have to say about the Pac-12 and if there are any sleepers that we missed on Mark Rogers TV.